Hello, welcome back. Sorry I've missed you the last couple of weeks. Anyway, I'm back now with another top five match one for you to enjoy. So I'm going to kick things off for you with an all-time classic. It's a Northern Ireland away shirt from the 1982 World Cup. It was only the nation's second ever World Cup appearance after uh, playing a 1958 World Cup. And they incredibly put in some amazing performances and topped the group ahead of the host. And that was wearing this stunning white away kit with a beautiful pinstripe design. Look at that. And it was in this iconic kit, possibly the most iconic kit of the tournament, that Billy Bingham's men did the unthinkable and beat the Spanish in Valencia. This shirt belonged to Arsenal hero and fullback Sammy Nelson, who wore number 13 at the tournament. Um, it's also signed by him on the chest. Uh, made by Adidas, it was not possible to buy the shirt to this specification with the fully embroidered crest, Spain World Cup Finals 1982 detail. Look at that embroidered trefoil there. The number is a flock material and heat pressed. Look at those beautiful trefoils on there as well. Um, quality of the material as well is so pristine and beautiful. One of the great World Cup shirts and from that iconic moment when Jerry Armstrong um, put Northern Ireland and this shirt into football folklore. Next up is a shirt worn by a legend for you. Can you believe that Cafu wore this shirt against Holland in a friendly match in 1996? Yes, in August 96 the reigning world champions came over to Amsterdam for a repeat of that World Cup 94 quarter final against the Dutch. Brazil was still wearing this famous Umbro design that they'd uh, won the World Cup in in the USA in 94, but changed, um, you know, obviously because they've now got four World Cup titles. There's now four stars on the badge, four stars in the design. So it changes from that. And also when you compare it with the replica shirt, there are some subtle differences as well. Um, the Umbro logo is embroidered on the player shirt and not on the replica. Also inside the collar, um, there's some taping in there, like a green taping that's not present on the uh, on the replica shirt. So nice little touches there for you to look out for on a match shirt. The numbering's beautiful flock print. If we have a look at that print, it's really deep printed flock. So it comes all the way through onto the other side where most flock prints won't do that. The Brazil shirts do. And number two, he made it famous, didn't he? Number two Brazil shirt, you're just thinking, Cafu, you're like, where's Roberto Carlos? He's on the other side, he's steaming up the wing. The match finished in a 2-2 draw. Uh, Van Gastel scored a late penalty to equalise for the Dutch. Who'd, um, Brazil had taken the lead earlier on in the game through Giovanni. Remember him? Not long after this, Cafu moved to Europe and established himself as one of the true greats of the game. Uh, one of the greatest fullbacks of his generation. And uh, proud to have a shirt that he wore. From one of the game's great defenders to another, David May. On this... Manchester United centenary third shirt from the 2001-2002 season. So much going on here. So much differences to the replica version. And for a start, you're going, hang on a minute, where's the other side? Yeah, the shirts the players wore are single layer. They're not the reversible version. Let me get a, let me get one for you. So look at this. You've got here's the replica. You got the away on this side, and you've got the gold third shirt on the other side also other differences are the uh, the way the badges and sponsor are applied on the replica and the match shirt you see the the Vodafone sponsor is raised embossed on the player shirt and a plastic transfer on the replica that their transfers as well but stitched on the player shirt so a, a better quality finish for the player a finishing like Van Nistelrooy um, this shirt uh, was issued for the Champions League now the gold shirt was only worn in one match uh, away at Olympiacos. Uh, May wasn't in the squad for that game, so he kept his shirt. So he got the beautiful star ball on there, and then um, a printing, which is like the same style as the Premier League, just doesn't have the Premier League logo on it essentially. Um, because it's not reversible, it's so much lighter. Um, but it's such a great, such a great shirt. Worn as the club celebrated 100 years of being called Manchester United from 1902 to 2002. I know quite a few of you have asked to see uh, Man United match shirts. This is the first one. There'll be more to come in the, in future weeks, so stay tuned. 
but yeah, I thought I'd kick it off with a, uh, the gold centenary shirt in long sleeved. Next up, it's the rarest shirt of Euro 2004. That's right, it's the Latvia away shirt. So Latvia at their first ever major international tournament and they caused a real shock, holding Germany to a draw. And they went into the final group game still with the chance of making the quarterfinals. And they pulled out this white away shirt for the match against Holland. Unfortunately, the Dutch ended the dream and uh, won and that was it. This shirt was only worn in that one game. Um, and it wasn't available to buy as a replica shirt, so it's incredibly rare. The shirt was worn by left-wing wizard Andres Rubens, who went on to become the second most capped player in Latvian football history, 117 caps. Um, you can see there the tournament patch for Euro 2004, that classic UEFA fair play on there. The badge is like a plastic transfer, uh, and that style of Adidas print, which was worn by most of the teams at the Euro 2004. Um, a great shirt from s such an important moment in the, the history of Latvian football. Um, just thought we'd have a look at that one. Last but not least, Liberia. Yeah, that's right. The Liberia away shirt from the 2002 Africa Cup of Nations. Only at CFS you could find something like that. Incredibly rare shirt. Hummel design. Um, you know, it looks like a Denmark shirt, doesn't it, from Euro 92. It's 2002 now, and they pulled this design out for George Weyer's last ever international tournament. The shirt was worn by Oliver McCaw in um, Liberia's final group match, which was against Nigeria, played in Mopti. Much like Latvia in the last shirt, they still had the chance of reaching the quarterfinals if they could get a result in this match. But, again, the Nigerians were unforgiving opponents and uh, ground out a 1-0 win and that was it for Liberia and George Weyer, the man, the legend, the god that was it, that was his last ever major international tournament match and he, he wore this Hummel design, this incredible away shirt look at the, the detailing on here, we've got like a stitched on Liberia patch we've got the national crest and then this flock print the, the name print's so fragile as you can see it's almost cracked away already uh, because it's plastic rather than felt, which seems to be more durable. So you might think, why is there no Hummel logo on? It's because Liberia stitched their logo over the top of the Hummel logo. Hmm, I'm not sure if the Danes would be too happy about that. You can see the collar label inside, and they've gone for a, a classic zip collar, you know, like Man United in 98. Uh, they're still going with that. Yeah, but I wanted to show you this one because it's, it's not often you get a shirt from, from the Africa Cup of Nations and let alone a Liberia shirt. We've probably had less than 10 in 10 years. So, um, yeah, wanted you to see this real rarity. So there you have it. That's the, this week's top five. Hope you enjoyed it. Please keep the requests coming in and I'll do my best to satisfy everybody's football shirt needs in the coming weeks, so keep them coming in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already, like the video if you liked it, and uh, see you next week for another top five match one shirts. Cheers.